Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Share Slice of Life. I'm here to give you a quick rundown on the Real Housewives of Potomac. Okay, starting out, I did find out the information. So, Sharice is not pictured in the beginning of Sharice, which I always know her as Champagne Room. It's not pictured in the beginning of the intro for the new season so i did see her tonight she was at like a party and she was with with the other women discussing karen and the problems with the taxes and her husband so she robin and the football wife was there but she didn't really say anything about what's going on with her. She just contributed to the conversation. And the way that she contributed, she actually contributed, in my opinion, as a friend of the show. You could tell um, it wasn't as if she were part of the show. So the show starts out pretty, you know, normal. Um, they're talking about that and then... Um, because, you know, Karen pretty much blasted out Robin last week about, you took this information to the girls about me and my husband and da, da, da. But, and Robin was like, well, it was in the blog. It was in the blog. But she meant the Washington Post. But she was just like, it was in there. It was, you know, it's public knowledge. She said, no, the part about me telling you that my husband, um, I did not know until he told me that part wasn't in the blog. So it kind of made them feel like, you know, you know, kind of made Karen feel like Robin was being a little bit dishonest and a little, you know, you know, she can't really trust her. So after that, the part, that little gathering was over and then... We see Ashley, you know, and she is, you know, headed back home. And, you know, she goes home to her husband. Although they had just had an argument over her mom. They decide to kind of put things behind them. And to, you know, move towards a new, you know, like start a clean slate with their marriage. And so, I'll be interested this season to see how that goes. And then you have, uh, like I said, Sharice is not on there anymore. But I do notice in the intro, they introduce another beauty queen who's supposed to be friends with Ashley. Because I did not realize that Ashley was a ex-beauty queen. I did not know that. So, and the lady that they introduced... Ashley kind of snapped her a little bit. She was like, yeah, she's won some no-name titles. And then she was Miss United States. And I'm like, wow. So, she um, introduces her. She has like a brunch at the restaurant. Which I know I was wondering if the restaurant was still open myself. <laughs> and Ashley was like, yeah, the restaurant's doing great. I have these these monthly brunches where I invite women. And it's like a, a luncheon for power women. And so, and that's where, um, and I'm going to have the call again. The football wife met up with the, the new beauty queen, which... I want to say her name starts with something with the CH2. And um, so they begin to talk. And Ashley seems kind of jealous. She's like, they sound like a bunch of chihuahuas. The way they're talking. But you introduced them both. Like, you introduced them. But they're like, yeah, I'm engaged. And she's like, oh, my husband has the same name as your fiancé. And... I went to Howard, and my sister went to Howard, and it was just like, you know. And Ashley was over there just like, 
kill me dead. You know, you could just look at her like she really wasn't trying to hear any of that at that moment. So then, um, Giselle, the show and Giselle, just how happy she is. And she actually goes out on a little date with her boo. And um, he picks her up in like a stretch uh, limousine. And they have like a really romantic date. And it's really nice to see them too. It really is. And then Karen reiterates to everyone that, you know, she is not broke, you know. And so, after that, she goes on and um, Karen is really going through that same, you know, kind of situation where she wants to prove to everyone that she's not broke. And so then, you know, Robin's like, well... You know, we just waiting for, you know, Karen to just tell us the truth, you know? And Karen's like, that is the truth. But then she sermons all of them there at the end of the episode to pretty much tell them, look, you know, quit, you know, basically talk about my business, you know? And, you know, she sermons everyone there. And so, um, yeah, that's pretty much how, you know, this episode ends. Uh, I think it's going to be really interesting because, like I told you, you can't talk about uh, Karen's taxes and, well, Karen's husband's back taxes for legal reasons. So, since you can't talk about them... It's not as exciting because they're not going to dwell into that. And Karen is going to continue to say she still has her money. And so, therefore, her money is is fine. And she's fine. And, uh, <laughs> you, you know, no one has to worry about her. But, I mean, I am really concerned about Cherise. Um, and the reason why is because, you know, I just wanted to know how she was doing, you know, but maybe later on in the show, they'll have more with her in her storyline, but I mean, for her not, I mean, it wasn't really a peach, so I don't know what it is she'll lose, but it kind of makes me feel sad. Because I didn't really like Cherie. She was or wasn't one of my faves. But um, the cast is really not stable to me. Like, okay, I like I like Giselle. And I like Robin. And what's the other girl? Um, Ashley, she can come and go. It really wouldn't matter to me. I don't like the new girl, that new football's wife. That was new last season. Don't like her. I don't like, um, let me see. This new beauty queen, I don't like her either. And let's see. And Karen, you know, Karen is Karen. So, I mean, I just really feel like, I don't know, they're moving a lot of people around, but maybe it was Sharice's choice, but. I mean, I've seen people on different, different Real Housewives franchises that had less storylines than her, and they were still making it in because they were still considered, like, family and had friends, you know, they were considered friends of the show. So I'm really not quite sure how they're going to approach that. And, um, so, anyway, all in all, it's kind of like a dull episode. It wasn't as exciting as I wanted it to be. I am over the moon for Giselle. I am very happy for Robin. 
Sounds like Robin's going to be doing a little dirt this season. Um, and I think they're pulling Giselle out as um, more of trying to get her stable with her personal uh, romance life. But um, I don't know. It just seems like it's, you know. I know it's scripted or reality, but it's not really doing anything for me. And speaking of which, the Real Housewives of Atlanta's reunion didn't do anything for me either. Like, okay, so what, Kenya? We pretty much felt like you would get pregnant because you needed a storyline. And now, all of a sudden, your husband probably will come on the show and... Then Andy called you out because it was, you know, said that your husband could not stay in the show and did not want to be on there. And Andy pretty much called you out because um, he said that directly to Andy's, you know, colleagues. So that's going to be interesting. Poor little she she Sheree, her little clothing line. I mean, they busted her so big on that. I mean, she tried to play it off. They said, "Are you? Are you, what are you working on now?" And she said, "Lounge And they just continued to break her down. And then Portia, 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 Portia is my friend now. Y'all know Portia is my friend, but at this point. I don't know, Portia. I may have to leave you out there by yourself, girl. I may have to leave you by yourself. You tripping, Portia. You tripping, like, you know, and then you you was ready to jump with with, with Sheree at the, the reunion. I don't know, Portia, but I'm going to tell you something. I don't ride for Kenya. But tonight, Kenya was getting them off. She was getting them off. Every time someone's had something to say, Kenya came right back. Kenya was quick with it. Quick with it. Let me tell you something. Marlo can't hang with her. And nobody can hang with her. She was quick with it. So... Just to let y'all know. Probably, sorry, I was eating like um, uh, like a little mint thing. Um, I'm just gonna let y'all know. I probably will not be watching the show next season, Real Housewives of Atlanta, because I don't really particularly care for Eva, and I'm seeing that they really pretty much want to give her the peach. Um, I've heard that they have fired Sheree, and so Sheree, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Um, and Portia was my favorite, but I'm just really tired of her being the one that picks up stuff and and takes it and, and is involved in things. I'm tired of it. Like, can she get along with anybody? Can they let her get along with anybody? So, I'm over it. And Nene is not enough of a matriarch of the group to make me want to be like, yes, I'm going to hang it out. So, yeah. Don't like candy. Never have. Um, we really don't like Kim. Nope. And Cynthia is just boring. Like, Cynthia is just there. Cynthia is just Cynthia. So anyway, that's been your rundown for the Real Housewives of Atlanta and the Real Housewives of Potomac. Gave you a little bonus at the end about the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion. But like I said, I'm going to watch the reunion all the way through. 
it's going to be play by play whether I feel like doing a uh, review on it. We'll continue to do a review on the Real Housewives of Potomac, definitely for you guys. Now, what I did want to tell you was on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, um, this mess about uh, Kenya trying to bust Marlo for blackmailing Nene, that's old. That's really old stuff. So, that really didn't matter. Didn't matter at all that Marlo tried to date or kind of like coerce the man that used to date Nene in her uh, between the times that her and Greg were separated and tried to get some dirt on Nene that way. Marlo, I, I, I already heard about that. And it really didn't spark no interest to me. Like, I was just sitting there like, okay. But yet, y'all still, y'all are friends again. So, therefore, you both know about the dirt. And, like, you both know this information. And you you okay with it. So, didn't really bother me. Didn't make me think, whoa, Nene, you need to check Marlo. Nene ain't checking Marlo because... If she accepted her back as a friend, they've already talked about this. Believe me, y'all. And the only other thing I could tell you was the part that um, really nothing shocked me. Nothing. Nothing was interesting. So anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. I will catch you later. Have a great day.